How's it going guys, Ultrasife here, and in today's video we're going to be going over the new December update for Apocalypse Rising 2. So now we have a server size at 20, um, they fixed the empty ammo boxes so whenever you drop them they disappear, and they have better spawning and firearms do random headshot damage. Well not random, they each just get their own, uh, it's not just whatever they say anymore so we're hoping that battle rifles have like really good headshot damage and yeah they're uh they fixed a lot of the inventory lag and yeah let's get into it those are like the major changes that i wanted to go over because you guys don't like me going through all the changes but yeah there's some cosmetic changes and everything like that as well but yeah let's get into actually playing so i'm also using fps unlocker to get 120 fps and it makes this game really freaking smooth but you still get the random lag spikes when you go to like uh when you load in new inventory and stuff, it just makes it a lot more smooth because this game is one of the more stuttery ones. They're definitely working on optimization. This is that Roblox in general is very stuttery. And for the rest of this video, I'm probably just gonna do like gameplay highlights where I try and go kill people and stuff along those lines. Plus I'm at literally at observatory. So I mean, our university, not observatory. So I, I'm at the laggiest part of the game. I don't typically like being around here so much just because it is like, it has so much lag associated with it. I also moved my GPU over to this setup. So yeah, I'm really rocking the 10 Oh, this is a zero in an ammo crate. Oh my God, dude. All right, well, uh, yeah, so I'm, it's, it should be having some good quality recordings and everything, max graphic in game. You'll definitely see some Fortnite from me and yeah, I'll try to keep up this three videos a week. I've been doing it for like three weeks now. So three videos a week. I can pretty much handle it all the time, and that's about the max I can handle, like, consistently, so I'm just gonna stick to it. Literally no loot spawning here, bro. I'm gonna... Oh my god. There is literally zero loot. Oh my god, dude. Do they have, like, lower loot spawning rates? Because there's nothing, dude. Nothing. And these are all zero mags, they're not disappearing. I definitely want, like, the chat switch thing to be able to, like, keybind it to something else. Because right now I'm using tab and it switches every single time. Or, like, I would also like an option to get rid of it. Since chat really isn't useful to this game, like, there's no point to it. It's not like chat had a little bit more purpose in Apocalypse Rising 1, but, I mean, it's not really, like, that necessary in Apocalypse Rising 2. I mean, you're not, like, talking to your squad mates all the time. And I don't even know, that's probably broken. I hear somebody. Where'd it, oh. No, get back here. Hey, come back. I was, whoa, you're lagging. Hey, what? He did so much damage. This dude's a little, are, 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 you, you're a little finna, you know that? I can't rush you, dude, I'm about to die. Oh. What is this dude doing way back here? And he's lagging. Dude, is everybody in the server just lagging now? Okay. That is, uh, wow. Oh, and yeah, it's definitely a lot more responsive in the inventory. You can definitely see that. But really, people are lagging so much. Wait, what's my ping? My ping's only 100? I'm lagging so bad. What? What? What was that? Dude, it's not me lagging. I promise, guys. Look, my, my ping's only 100. Dude. I promise you guys, this is, this is, this is playing Apocalypse Rising 2 in almost 2019. Oh my god, this game has been out for a year. I'm not saying that it's like all the Apocalypse Rising 2 devs fault, I'm just saying like, there's a lot of issues associated with like Roblox games, so it's just like, it's so impossible to play. Okay, that door just didn't want to let me through, that was the, come on man, come on, and there's, is there no loot anywhere? Like, I haven't found any loot so far. Everybody's just had, like, the same revolver. Did they change loot or something? Because it's definitely not working. I would assume that there would be loot in this game. Um, uh, I am not- I haven't seen a se oh, I've seen empty ammo. That's literally all I've seen this- oh, that's a clip. Just- just tell me I can find a gun or something sometime soon, because it's getting boring. This is- just the slow gameplay of APOC 1, dude. This, that's what it's really feeling like. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I just jumped backwards. That was some serious server lag right there. Okay, so I'm assuming 
that is not like anybody else's fault. I, I think I blamed the, the person I was fighting earlier. It's probably not their fault because what I just saw there is I lagged and I'm not having any, any issue, internet issues right now. I'm a completely wired connection. So unless my ISP is just like being really mean to me, it's like not my fault. I think it's just the Roblox servers being laggy as they're always laggy. Hopefully that can get fixed or Roblox actually like put some of those uh, hard earned catalog dollars to the actual like state of Roblox games, you know? Oh my God. Oh, a lot of empty magazines on the side of a mountain. I, I think magazines like when dropped should definitely despawn a little bit quicker. I've seen so many empty magazines so far, it's kind of like unreal. I feel like whenever I'm making these videos, I'm doing a lot more commentary than like actual gameplay. Tell me if you guys like that or you just want me to like separate my videos out for when I'm doing commentary. I think I should do a lot more commentary on the update videos than like pure gameplay videos. I know I do some if I do gameplay videos, but I mostly like to cover the updates until like it becomes a beta and released free. And then I'll do more gameplay videos because then there's a lot more people playing uh, and actually like would be fun. But now we're just like seeing like the state of the game because I do like showing people the state of the game if they want to like go back and watch like Oh, what was this game like when it came first came out? Right now, there's literally no loot. But wow, this is this is so fun. I don't really know when they're scheduling to fully release this game into beta. Uh, it's probably st still pretty far off. There's a lot of major issues with it. Or I wouldn't say like too many major. You can still play the game. It's in like alpha. But yeah, there's a lot of bugs that need to be fixed. So yeah, they still have a lot of work ahead of them. I would expect in the next six months to a year, because a two year dev cycle is pretty long for a Roblox game, to be honest. So I'm just saying like, they should maybe hurry it up a little bit. Cause this game has been in a long dev cycle. I know like Gus Manak has to spend like a lot of his time paying a lot of other devs to do this, but I, I feel like it could have come out a little bit quicker. I don't think there is any loot in this game. I haven't found anything so far, except like the default revolver and empty magazines. This is kind of insane, okay? Like, there, there shouldn't ever be this low amount of loot, ever. This is pretty bad. Okay, so people are saying in the chat that there also is like no loot whatsoever, so I'm just gonna assume like this is a broken server and they, they've somehow managed to break the UI to where you, you or break the game to where it just doesn't spawn ev anything. So I'm gonna try to find a different server. Server. There's 16 people in this server, so I'm gonna just like try to find like a smaller server with some loot or something that I can actually do something with because this is definitely boring just going around with a revolver. I do want a lot more people playing this game, maybe like a thousand people. So like, I don't know, it's just kind of uh, boring. I'm meeting a lot of the same people when I play these games and like the community, the skill is just way up there now. And like, there's no room for the casual player anymore, I feel. Oh, and I spawned in right next to the police station because I left here. That was actually like a great idea. <gasps> Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, I definitely did a good job with leaving the server and coming back here. Like, 10 out of 10 IGN, you know. Yeah, my last server was definitely on the broken side of the game. That was, there was no loot whatsoever. That was not okay. And I wish, like, whenever you upgraded your backpack, like, your loot would go back into the backpack. And if it didn't, it would actually spread it out to the rest of your inventory when on the ground. That's just, like, something I noticed. Like, when I upper upgrade my backpack, I kind of want, like, the same things to be in that backpack still. It's kind of annoying when I have, like, go reorganize my inventory. Because inventory organization is pretty key in this game if you want to, like, go through your inventory fast. Or, like, click, uh, or, like, click meds or exchange mags a lot of stuff along those lines see the update was to do with ammo boxes so now if i click spread to mags it's gonna like send it into like my magazines but if i drop it on the ground since it has zero bullets it now just disappears you can't see it anymore it's gone forever wait yay and i really am liking the new responsive inventory it's so much like it makes me so happy that like within the second of me clicking something it would actually change instead of like waiting five to 10 seconds for something to actually happen. Whoa, that's an AK-47. I don't know what's better, an M249 or an AK-47, but that's a pretty good find right there. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably, that's, that's really good. Nice seeing that it still exists finding good weapons. Yeah, that wasn't even a police station, just found like an insane gun, bunch of drums. That's pretty good, but I think I like the M249 a little bit better for like spraying down opponents. I think they use 
like different. Yeah, this is 5.56 NATO. It's like the MK48, which uses 762 or something along those lines. <laughs> My character is looking nice actually having a gun this time. But yeah, this game is running a lot better. I'm actually being able to get like 100 FPS constantly. A lot of areas can get 120 FPS. So it's definitely nice for like having a change of it being like a lot more optimized than it used to be. Yeah, I can get used to Roblox being so smooth. Like Roblox, the frame spacing is so bad at 60 FPS. It doesn't even feel like 60 FPS. Like a good game, CSGO, like even CSGO with its terrible frame spacing feels better at 60 FPS. It's just, it's that bad. And you also have to like take time to actually go into the animation. You can't just like drink something and then start fighting somebody at the same time. No, you actually have to like go through the animation. So it makes it a little bit more competitive. You have to use a little bit more strategy. It's just uh, a nice update to like actual gameplay and realism. I think I'm gonna end off the video here though. So on that note, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. Peace. If you want to see a lot more Apoc 2 updates or just regular gameplay videos, definitely make sure to leave a like and a comment saying that down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Peace. Hit that bell, no bell icon for notifications so you can see my newest upload. Something along. I s How many times have I said something along those lines in this video? I'm just ending it here. Goodbye, guys.